Watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. This segment sponsored by Carlson Financial. We've told you about Carlson Financial's Epic 5i system for your personal finances. We're taking a closer look at each one of the eyes in the weeks here coming up. Carl Carlson is here to break down I number one, the income plan. It all starts yes. with the money we have coming in. <laughs> so uh, the first part of building that income plan is definitely you want to envision it, right? Envision mm -hmm. what do you want for income when you are when you're going to be financially free or when you're going to be retired, what kind of income do you want and what do you want to spend things on? Like, well, we want to travel more or want to upgrade our home and, you know, remodel a bathroom, then a kitchen, then a this, then a that. So you're going to figure that out. But the income plan is really a big part of it is your really like a budget. So it's going to be how much income do you have? How much are you spending? How much can you save? How much do you need to save to make your plan work? Right. So you're figuring all that out. And there's a lot of pieces to that. So you need to include things like inflation in your income plan because what you're spending today, if you're spending $100,000 a year, well, in 20 years, that could be $200,000 a well, year for the I, same stuff. And definitely people know that these days because the income yeah. we had five years ago, if we had the income we had, it would have bought a lot more five years ago. Yeah. So the first part of income is it's not just your paycheck. You have to identify everything. So what could all be considered part yeah, of income? Yeah, because sometimes people may have started Social Security, so maybe that's part of your income and uh, could also be... Uh, pension so you retire now you started a pension and then you're gonna start Social Security and then your spouse is gonna start Social Security and then you're gonna take some money out of investments that's part of your income uh, maybe you have a rental property that's throwing some income into your plan so now you have a multiple different sources of income when do some stop when do some start how do you coordinate all those to maximize the income that you're going to get? Now we compare that against our expenses, and it's very easy to think of expenses as the bills that we have to pay, but you factor a few other things in. Yeah, definitely I like to think of your necessary expenses that would be in that plan, utility bills, groceries, things like that. I would even say a certain level of entertainment and eating out is almost a necessity in today's world then you can have the extra part that's discretionary so you're gonna have your necessities and then you're gonna have your discretionary spending vacations new vehicles things like that so and keep those separate because what I like to see is first when you build a plan you're gonna look at how does it work with no discretionary spending Hopefully it works, okay, and then you can start adding in, well, can I spend another 10000 a year? Can I spend another 20000 Where do I kind of max out so that I can know uh, how much do, can I spend when I'm retired? And then you also say build into those expenses some unexpected things that might pop up, which can come into the next part of what you say is part of your income plan, and that is a withdrawal strategy. If to meet some of those unexpected things that come up, when do you decide when to take money out of different yeah, things? Yeah, so there's really cool things you can do. So like, okay, I have this unexpected thing. The sooner you can plan for it, the better. So uh, I got to get a new car, but I can get by for three or four months. But uh, one of the things you can do is when the market is up a lot, all of a sudden your investments are up a lot. If somebody had 500000 in investments, and we were planning on those investments being up 10%, but last year they were up 40%. That's an extra 30% on a half a million dollars is an extra 150 grand in one year. Well, then that's the opportunity to seize that and say, take that 150 grand, put it in my savings account before it goes back down. So that's where you start to pick up those extra things to cover the unexpected. Exactly. So if you need a car, but you don't need it immediately, but you know it's coming, if the market's up, that's the time that's to do it. That's the time to okay? do it. Okay. And then all of it, of course, goes with looking at your risk and planning and making yep. sure that things are adjusted the way we need them adjusted. Exactly. All right. Carl, appreciate it. You Always bet. interesting. And we are going to be looking ahead at more of the eyes in the 5i in the weeks ahead. Right now, stay tuned for the forecast. 
If you would like to know about available jobs,